Well, obviously, in the state that it's in right now, it's highly suspicious because all the markings have been painted over. But at one point, as I was alluding to earlier, uh, there was markings on it, uh, on the tail rotor portion uh, that said in white lettering, large white lettering, patrol. And then uh, there was also a uh, call sign uh, marked on the, in large white lettering on the side of the helicopter. So members of the uh, public that would seeing that, especially in an area down near the border, would more than likely think it was a legitimate uh, purpose for that helicopter. Uh, as the publicity came out on this particular helicopter, uh, the, one of the things while it was under surveillance uh, was the markings were all removed from it. Uh, and it was stored again when we did seize it on a large uh, rural isolated property. It was fully fueled and it had fuel uh, right next to it, uh, partially covered under a tarp and uh, was going to be resorted to uh, in the near future. We it was seized on the early hours of uh, the 23rd, uh, Saturday, uh, January. Uh, it was in an area of approximately uh, five minutes uh, south of uh, Silverton, BC, on a large rural 300 acre parcel of land. Uh, where it was uh, stored on a, uh, at a high elevation just off of uh, Slocan Lake, uh, partially covered under a uh, green tarp, and uh, again fueled and uh, ready for operation. That's what I'm saying, like the money is so great, they don't take them long to pay that off. No, that one. 